Sonic State here at NAM 2020, and we're with Andy at the SSL booth. And Andy, SSL are now entering the audio interface market, and not just entering the audio interface market, entering the audio interface market at incredibly affordable prices. Yes. Wow. This is a, an interesting development. So there's two models, the SSL2 and the SSL2 Plus. Can you just give us a little quick walkthrough what the feature set is, please? Yeah, sure. So um, thanks, Gaz, for joining us here on the booth. Um, 2 and 2 Plus, both USB-powered audio interfaces. Um, both of them have class-leading SSL mic amps, uh, which can achieve an EIN of minus 130.5 dB. And also, they've got a huge gain range of uh, 62 dB. So these interfaces, even though they're bus powered, can handle any microphone you throw at them, even the notoriously low output things like Shure SM7s. Um, mm. So they're great for that. Uh, both the 2 and the 2 Plus also have uh, what we call the legacy 4K switch. Ah, so this doesn't miraculously turn your audio into 4K video. No, uh, <laughs> I can see why you might think that. Um, slightly confusingly labeled, but uh, no, this is a reference to our uh, legendary 4000 series console. Right. So we took some inspiration because we know that's a console that many people love the sound of and mm -hmm. the character of. So what we did is we looked at two key aspects of it. So we looked at EQ, so the first thing you get when you push this in is a nice forward yet musical sounding EQ boost. And then the second thing you get is some kind of uh, sweet harmonic distortion. So it's a really nice way of just being able to add a different flavor to your mic preamp. And it's, it's all done in analog as well. So this okay. is pre-AD, mm -hmm. record it in, jobs are good. Is that gain sensitive then? If you push more gain into it, you'll get a, a more pronounced effect. Yeah, so the, the EQ part of it isn't but how much harmonic distortion you get is gain-led. So uh, yeah, you can you can back off and get a little less crunch, uh, go a bit hotter and get some more. Okay, cool. So um, so we've got fairly comprehensive switching. Uh, the, yep. uh, oh, and the all important, yes. more me, less me control. Yes. Okay, so um, class compliant? Yes, uh, on Mac, class compliant. On Windows, we provide a dedicated ASIO driver from the SSL website. Okay. and. Um, yeah, no, it's just worth also pointing out the kind of the differences between the two and the two plus. Right. So the two uh, has a single high current headphone output, the control of which is in the bottom right, and the two plus you actually get two dedicated uh, headphone outputs. And the really nice thing about the uh, two plus with phones B, you can source it from outputs three and four, right. create a separate headphone mix for the, the, the other performer, which is something which is often missing on interfaces uh, kind of in this category. Right, so the, but the input, the input is the same, but the yeah. output's different with it too, and two plus. Uh, yeah, so it, input stages are exactly the same, same monitoring section, it's just with the two plus you get an extra headphone output and the ability for it to, it can just duplicate the main headphone output, but you've got the ability to source it differently. The 2 Plus also had some MIDI inputs and outputs on the back, or input and output, and some additional phono outputs so you can hook it up easily to a DJ mixer. Oh, okay, great, right. So, um, yeah, we're just looking at the differences here. And uh, nitric combi jacks there. Um, okay, great. Big SSL looking volume knob. Yeah, um, d you know, despite what people keep telling me, I'm afraid that size does matter. So <laughs> that's why we've made it the biggest one. It's actually the biggest SSL monitoring knob you can find. So I think it's 36 mil. <laughs> and uh, yes, it does go to 11. Oh, so it does. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so availability then, are, are these coming out? Are they imminent? Are they? Uh, yeah, well, we announced them on Monday and we have actually already started shipping. It may take a few weeks for all the various dealers to get them in stock, but we are shipping. We are shipping now. Yeah. Excellent. And the price point on both? Uh, price point on both. So uh, deep breaths. Uh, for the two, that's coming in at 149 pounds 99 pence ex VAT. Wow. And for the two plus, that's coming in at 199 pounds 99 pence ex VAT. Mm, okay. So going to be very interesting to see just how SSL are received at this price because previously SSL stuff was uh, a bit
big money. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a new direction for us, but you know, we want to make sure that we are very much in the studios of aspiring musicians and producers. And you know, we're, we've got a lot of experience in manufacturing high-end equipment, so that's why we've done things like uh, we're still using Alps pots, still using Neutrik connectors, right. uh, and also using the same AKM converters as used in our Alphalink range, which are used in thousands of studios worldwide. So, so although it's badged as SSL, it still is got true. It still has true SSL sort of pedigree. Of course, it's yeah. Not we, just a, it's not just slapping a SSL badge on a generic. No, I mean, interface. we have a, a very iconic brand, so we always have to take the approach. If we're going to do something, we do it properly. Right. So that's why we do this. And having that 4K switch then, it's just a way of just bringing in a bit of true SSL flavor. Just bringing a bit of true SSL flavor. Just, it's an always nice to have the option, you know. I, I can't count them how many times, you know, I've been there, plugged in the microphone, it just sounds a little bit dull, uninspiring. You've got something there to just to just to bring some life to things. So well, you well, say that. it's EQ, what is the EQ change in it? Uh, so it's a, a high frequency EQ boost. Uh, yeah, just a gentle shelf. I think it's about two dBs worth of gain, something like that. From, well, what, that, from what point onwards? Uh, from memory, about two kilohertz and upwards. And it, will that affect the, uh, the high impedance input as well? Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it affects whatever your input is. So. Uh, it, it's, it's just before the pre-A2D stage, so you can you can use it on mic level signals, you can use it on line level signals, and you can use it on uh, a direct bass in the back, high input or whatever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much for showing us. Pleasure, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Cheers. Thank you.